Hiding in this room is a mite that is so tiny it's hard to see, but it makes millions of people ill. It hides in dark places like sofas, carpets or beds, like this little boy's. He has asthma and the house dust mite is his main trigger. Here is the house dust mite. It is a scavenger that eats things like mould, pollen or bacteria. But its favourite food is mouldy old skin scales. Here's its dropping. The mite makes lots of these. Inside the dropping are bits of food and dissolving enzymes to break the food down. It's the enzymes in the mite's dropping that make the boy ill. And here's why. Moisture mounts the dropping, spilling out its contents, including all the enzymes ready to go to work as dissolvers. Activity sends the droppings into the air to float around like invisible dust for about 10 minutes before dropping to the floor. During this time they can be breathed in and land on moist tissue in the nose or lung. Here they have landed in the boy's lungs. They are protected by alert defender cells. Underneath the cells is a tissue that can filter out any unwanted dirt that may have leaked in. The mites dropping melts, spilling its contents, including the dissolving enzymes, one of which causes lung cells to die, making a pathway for others. While the, cell is, while the cells are repaired, cleanup cells grab hold of intruders, but if harm is detected, powerful chemicals are called in to kill the invaders to protect the body. They are so powerful they can damage healthy cells too. If this happens too many times, the cleanup cells reaction causes chronic inflammation and harm, like wheezing and asthma. This little boy shouldn't be sleeping with, with the mite in his bed. It's not good for him and has made him ill. There are five ways to kill or control house dust mites. Visit housedustmite.com to find out how.